Hello everyone, my name is Jules Moa, I am creating pictures and welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for your like and your comment under this video. It's really helping me a lot to grow and it's helping with algorithm. Second of all, I've been told that my hands is all over all of my videos and it's like way too distracting. So this video, I will try to control my hands more and you will see how bare minimum of controlling myself I have. You know, I live here in Berlin for four years now and Berlin is infamously famous for their nightlife. There's a lot of different clubs, a lot of different music, a lot of different people who are visiting the club. So the nightlife culture is very much alive and very flourishing. And I like loud music, I like different interesting people, I like the gloomy lights, but I never was in the club and this is not my kind of jam, unfortunately. But I was wondering if I ever would go to the club, how I would dress. So this look is basically my fantasy of how I would dress myself if I ever visit one of these infamous places. As usually, my every look starts with the clothes, and for this one, I have like analog from the ugly sweater. It was an ugly T-shirt, and I am a huge believer on repurposing the clothes and giving the clothes the second, third, fourth life. And for this one, I bought this like self-reflecting plastic. It's like very shiny, very cool. I cut it as many pieces as possible, and then I decorated the edges with the stones and now it's looking gorgeous. First of all, I wasn't kidding about the ugly t-shirt. It's really had a print and I have no idea what to do with this. My first attempt was a coloring up with airbrush, but unfortunately it didn't do the job and I still have my bear here. But I decided that it wouldn't matter anyway, so I started working with my edges and the edges turned out really beautiful. Actually, I like this idea a lot. But the most time consuming part was a mosaic because first of all, I need to cut everything then you cut everything you need to fix everything and the most important job for me here was to covering this Christmas bear who was all over this t-shirt but I did it the accessory for this one was tricky because I knew I want to have this like bold makeup statement and I already had a t-shirt which was looking like a disco ball. So how you will add up the accessories in this mix and do not overpower the look. Then I realized I will make it dark like the monochromatic and I used this like very cool technique to make this like creature looking accessories and I have a lot. I have an ear cuff, I have earrings and this is actually the ring. As a first, I need a base for all of my jewelry, so I use a metallic wire to create the form, so my jewelry will have something to hold on while they are drying. And then I use the clay, so my jewelry will have not only the form, they also would be light to work. Then, actually, then all of my jewelry are ready, I paint them with the airbrush, and then I just cover them with this like very cool polish so they would be very shiny very dark very mysterious and very animalistic they look kind of creepy but actually they very light and kind of cute my model name is Nadia and we never worked before it was our first time working together and she had the most amazing bleached bus haircut and I love it so much and she was adventurous enough to even let me paint her hair into this like very green uh, flames and for the makeup I had this amazing reference with like uh, running down makeup and forming the words so that was actually really cool and very nice as you can see i wasn't kidding about nadia being very cute and we start with the hair at first and we create with like green flame effect unfortunately it's visible only in profile but at least it was a cool touch then we work on the makeup and this running tears words was so cool and really really dope 
The setup for this look was kind of tricky because I had this wonderful idea of Nadia posing behind the glass with a graffiti. Unfortunately, I'm really scared to working with a glass in real life because I'm very sloppy. As you can see, I can barely control my hands. Uh, so actually, I get this transparent plastic and unfortunately, when you work with artificial light and I'm working only with artificial light, I don't like natural light. It reflects a lot. And I will show you what do I mean. It reflects everything. So at first I need to write something and because I live in Berlin here there is so many graffiti and there is so many inspiration so it wasn't a problem. The problem becomes so much later than I start to shoot this and as usually I start with the normal poses and something more easy to work for me and my model and then we finally introduce this plastic glass and this was a complete disaster. I was doubting myself so much but we managed to walk it through and I have some pictures. The result pictures is kind of interesting because uh, my main focus was the graffiti with the light and unfortunately plastic is working like this huge filter who blocks a lot of texture, a lot of colors, a lot of volumes and the picture looking kind of blah, but the normal picture without any filters, they looking so dope, Nadia looking amazing, everything is so beautiful, I have so much volume, so much light, so much colors. So that's an interesting result. So this is the end of my video, thank you so much again for being here, thank you for all of your likes, for all of your comments and your support. If you can, please subscribe to me on Patreon, your donation will mean a lot. Um, I hope I did an okay job of controlling my hands, but I'm really doubting this, and I will see you next Tuesday.